to you guys got another video here for you in this one I'm going to be showing you how to recover your forgotten or lost password inside Microsoft Outlook 2010 now this is quite common believe it or not because people set these accounts up for them ie technicians PC repair guys they set their email clients up or they've been messing around with it and they've put a password in there and they've forgotten what it is now without ringing up your ISP or your hosting company who's got your uh, email client set up then I'll show you how to recover this so it's pretty straightforward I'm going to be using two programs one of them is called uh, mail pass view and this one works with many different types of uh, email clients as you can see this one's uh, probably my favorite one to use and as you can see here it works with quite a few different types okay now the other one we're going to be using is outlook password decryptor now this just works with uh, outlook as far as I know and uh, also this comes bundled when you go to install it with some uh, nasty uh, software like Snapdo, I think it's called. And I'll show you what I mean. So first off, uh, we're going to open up uh, Microsoft uh, Outlook. And you can see here this is our client. And uh, I'm going to go up to File here, Account Settings. Click on that and this will open up all our email uh, accounts now you can see there's just a test one set up here but you may have uh, quite a few here so when I click on this this opens up our actual account details and you can see there's a an actual password here and it's all got little asterisk stars on it now we won't know what that is if we've forgotten it and I'm going to show you how to get that back okay okay so let's uh, close this off Now the first one we're going to use is mail pass view and this is the one I suggest you use first because this is a, uh, probably the least asshole to install you can have it as a portable app and as you can see here straight away it's found this password forward slash uh, dot comma test pass all one word and uh, that would be pretty tricky to uh, to crack for most people and uh, you can see it's done it pretty easy and the password is strength is uh, strong so quite good uh, uh, getting that back and straight away we have now know the password so let's have a look at Outlook uh, password decryptor now I will install it again just to show you the uh, pitfall of this program you've got to be a bit careful so you're going to go next here and then when you accept you go next next again and install that's if you choose to use this one this window pops up At this stage, you want to decline, okay? It's a bit of a tricky one because uh, people accept it, and then you end up with uh, make snap do your favorite search engine and also install snap.do. Now, these can be pretty nasty, They're like toolbars and stuff like that. So, you want to get rid of those, just decline that, okay? And then it will install. Click next and then finish. Now, once you've done that, you should be at this stage here, and all you need to do here now is click on Start Recovery, and straight away you'll see it pulls it straight up. So it does work very well, um, but again, it's just all that other garbage that he wants to try to install in your system. That's why I faded the other version. Um, but that's basically how you can recover your lost passwords for Outlook. Okay, and this is 2010, and it does work with many different types of. Uh, Outlook uh, Suites. So I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favorite my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. Now if you're still waiting for that installation build on my uh, HTPC, then that's coming on Friday and it will probably be in two parts because it's ended up quite big. But all the builds done and all the video ends done, just got to do the voiceover and uh, that should be uploaded on Friday. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.